December 10th, 2022, Daily Bread, Passage, Nehemiah chapter 2, verse 11 to verse 20, Key verse 18, Title, The Beginning of a Good Work. I went to Jerusalem, and after staying there three days, I set out during the night with a few others. I had not told anyone what my God had put in my heart to do for Jerusalem. There were no mounts with me except the one I was riding on. By night, I went out through the valley gate, toward the jackal wall and the dung gate, examining the walls of Jerusalem, which had been broken down, and its gates, which had been destroyed by fire. Then I moved toward the fountain gate and the king's pool, but there was not enough room for my mount to get through, so I went up the valley by night, examining the wall. Finally, I turned back and re-entered through the valley gate. The officials did not know where I had gone or what I was doing, because as yet, I had said nothing to the Jews, or the priests, or nobles, or officials, or any others who would be doing the work. Then I said to them, You see the trouble we are in? Jerusalem lies in ruins, and its gates have been burned with fire. Come, let us rebuild the wall of Jerusalem and we will no longer be in disgrace. I also told them about the gracious hand of my God on me, and what the king has said to me. They replied, Let us start rebuilding. So they begun this good work. But when Samballat the Horonite, Tobiah the Ammonite official, and Geshem the Arab heard about it, they mocked and ridiculed us. What is this you are doing? they asked. Are you rebelling against the king? I answered them by saying, The God of heaven will give us success. We, his servants, will start rebuilding. But as for you, you have no share in Jerusalem, or any claim or historic right to it. Daily Bread Message People must have wondered why Nehemiah had come to Jerusalem. To be honest, Nehemiah didn't tell them right away, but approached the issue of his arrival very carefully. The Jews, priests, nobles, and officers were among those who would be doing the work of repairing the walls. What if they said no? What if they refused to participate? After three days, Nehemiah secretly went out at night, surveyed the damaged walls for himself. When he addressed the people, it would be with a first-hand knowledge of the work that would be required. When Nehemiah finally spoke to the leaders, He did so by appealing to their identity as God's people. It was not right for God's people to be living in such disgrace. For the glory of God, they needed to take action and rebuild the city. His testimony of God's gracious hand encouraged their hearts and they agreed to start rebuilding. The good work of God's people never goes unopposed by the enemy and the rebuilding of the walls in Jerusalem was no exception. The response from Sanballat, Tobiah, and Jeshem was almost immediate. They mocked and ridiculed the Jews and even made a false accusation about them rebelling against the king. However, their tormenting could not shake Nehemiah's faith. The God of heaven would indeed grant success to his people. Prayer Father, Help us to see how you are working. One word, commit yourself to doing God's will.